Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the challenger, the And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hamzat Boris Chibayev! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long it's I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He loaded up that right hand, too. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 
All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. A triangle, a triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Nicely done. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, then just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. tonight in the octagon.
So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by tap out. There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner. And this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on. 